An infection will occur when microorganisms establish and grow in a host, resulting in injury to that host. These microorganisms are pathogenic organisms. In this section, we will demonstrate the difference between the four different types of pathogens. An infection occurs when a pathogen invades and begins growing within a host. To cause a disease, pathogens must be able to enter the host body, adhere to specific host cells, invade and colonize host tissue, and inflict damage on those tissues. This process is composed of six steps, exposure, adhesion, invasion, colonization, toxicity, tissue damage, and disease. The exposure is the initial phase during which the mucous membrane of the tissue is exposed to the pathogens. The adhesion phase follows when the pathogen adheres to the receptor of the epithelial cell. Then the pathogen invades the epithelial cell and reaches the tissue. This is called the invasion phase. After the invasion, the pathogen proliferates inside the tissue. We call this phase the colonization. The toxicity phase starts when the pathogens produce toxins that attack the mucous membrane of the tissue. Finally, the tissue damage and disease phase happens when the toxins break through the mucous membrane and the pathogens migrate to other cells. Pathogens have three main functions. They multiply in large numbers and cause an obstruction. They cause tissue damage. They can excrete organic substances called excitoxins. These excitoxins can produce certain side effects, such as an extremely high body temperature, nausea, vomiting, shock, and even seizures. There are four main types of pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoan, parasites. We will detail these types in the upcoming slides. Bacteria are microscopic, single-celled organisms that reside in a host as a colony. They are prokaryotes, meaning that they lack a nuclei and membrane-bound organelles. They are classified by morphology, biochemistry, and genetic constitution. Morphology is determined by gram staining which is a technique used to classify bacteria. They can be cocci or spheres, bacilli or rods and spirals. Some bacteria can remain dormant and highly resistant to chemical and physical agents. These are called endospores. Endospores have both RNA and DNA. Common bacterial infections today include streptococcal infection or strep throat, bacterial pneumonia, tuberculosis or TB, and salmonella. TB commonly affects the lungs but can occur anywhere. It can be asymptomatic and is treatable if diagnosed early. However, there are now some strains of antibiotic-resistant TB. Bacteria can also be classified as aerobes and anaerobes. 
aerobacteria can survive and thrive only in an oxygen environment, whereas anaerobe bacteria do not require oxygen for growth and may even die in the presence of oxygen. Viruses are microscopic single-celled pathogens. They cannot live outside a living cell because they lack components for their own survival. Viruses carry their own DNA or RNA, but never both. A viral particle or virion can attach to a host cell, insert its own genetic information, and then redirect the host cell to produce new viruses. Viruses are not affected by antibiotics. Common viral infections are the common cold, infectious mononucleosis, herpes simplex, and papillomavirus. A virus can vary in size from 20 to 250 nanometers. This means that direct observation of a virus is possible only through an electron microscope. Some viruses can lie dormant for extended periods of time and then manifest later as an illness. They can travel within the nervous system and reemerge at nerve endings. An example of this is the chickenpox virus, which can later manifest as shingles. Fungi can be macroscopic, such as mushrooms, or microscopic, such as yeast and mold. They are larger than bacteria. There are four classifications of diseases that are caused by fungi. Superficial infection, such as a discoloration of the hand, Cutaneous infections involving the hair, nails, or skin. Subcutaneous infections describes when the disease enters the human host. And systemic infection describes when the disease enters the circulatory or lymphatic system. Common fungal diseases include athlete's foot, ringworm, and tinea nigra, which attacks the upper layers of the skin. Parasites are organisms that are neither plant nor animal. They are larger than bacteria and do not possess a cell wall. Parasites are able to ingest food and may have a rudimentary digestive system they are classified by their motility. There are two types of parasites, protozoa and helminth. Common parasite infections are pinworms, tapeworms, malaria, and trichomonas vaginalis. Protozoa infections include trichomonas vaginalis which is a sexually transmitted disease that can occur in both males and females, and plasmodium vivax infection, which can cause a form of malaria. Helminths are parasitic worms. Examples are enterobiasis or pinworms and diphlobothrium or tapeworms. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99.
We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.